why are school nurses so bad at their job? Like, there's no way they are actual nurses because I remember one time at recess, me and a couple other kids were playing on the playground and one kid fell off the bars and his arm bent the wrong way. So you could literally see his bone sticking out of his arm and the kid started screaming. So me and another guy took him to the office. And when we got there, you know what the nurse did? She was like, okay, wait, let me get something for you. And she walks into the room next door and comes back with an ice pack and says, here, use this. What do you mean use this? My guy's bone was sticking out of his arm and you want him to put an ice pack on that? Not every injury can be solved with an ice pack, Gretchen. This man needs to have surgery. Call a real hospital. Doc McStuffins would be doing a better job than you at this point. And I'm sure that not all school nurses were like this, but at least at my school, the nurse would literally give an ice pack for every injury. Oh, you have a headache? Here's an ice pack. Oh, your stomach hurts? Here's an ice pack. Oh, your humerus is sticking out of your arm? Here's an ice pack. I'm going to name you, um, Cockroach. Cockroach? Yes, that's what I said. You don't want to name me just Roach? I like what I said better. Yeah, but why add Cock, though? Like, oh. come on, at least you got Roach after. He just named me Cock. Hell, <laughs> come on. Next. Well. Well what? Well. Well what? Like, what are you going to name me? Well. Well what, bitch? I think he is saying well, like well is your name. What the f you know what? Okay. Next. Hi Adam, I'm such a big fan. Dick dick. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me, what? What what is a dick dick? You, you're a dick dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no the hell I'm not. Yes, you are. God said I get to name y'all, so I choose your name to be Dick Dick. Do I look like a dick dick? You might as well come join the crew. I'm cock, that's cock roach, and you dick dick. Together we'll be the three scrotums. <laughs> Guys, give me like your girl, best like... pickup lines. Girl, are you a Pokemon? Because I like to peek at you. Are you a rope? Because I'd hang with you. Bruh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, girl, are you a factory in China? Because I want to put a bunch of kids in you. Oh, God. <laughs> girl, get in the back. <laughs> Pretty effective. Paired with a Glock to the forehead has a 100% success rate. Hey, girl, I shaved you a seat. Oh, oh. <laughs> You have beautiful eyes. You have beautiful hair. Can I shit on your chest? <laughs> Bubby, would you choose me in a room full of girls? Depends on who the girls are. What? What? what do you mean it depends on who the girls are? So you're telling me if CL was in the room with Valkyrie and Doja Cat, I'm supposed to pick you? There's no shot. Bubby, I'm not even a, Not even 1%. Okay, you're my wife. And? You want to pick me. I mean, if, even if there was a room full of food and you were in there, I'd pick the food before you. What the freak? Priorities, what? That's so messed up. Not really. Hey, son, I just got you a new iPhone. iPhone 14? Yo, dude, that's so cool. Here, I hope you love the color. It's purple. Dad, what is this? Uh, it's an iPhone 14? Yeah, but I said I want an iPhone 15. Yeah, but I figured this one is better since it doesn't break as easily. Are you kidding me? What do you think people at school are gonna say? That you just got a new iPhone? That I just got last year's iPhone. What am I, a peasant? I don't want it. Sorry, son, I will return. Dude, don't even talk to me until you get me the iPhone 15. Okay, son. Dude, how can you talk to your dad this way? My dad would never let me. It's easy, man. You just gotta assert dominance, be confident, and yell at them every now and then. Trust me, they're gonna say yes to everything you want. Yeah, yeah come here. Yeah, Baba. Uh, go bring me a glass of water. Yeah, sure thing. And make sure it's cold, not like the last time, ya hmar. You know what, Baba? No. What? No, you, you go get yourself a glass of water. Who do you think you are, ya ibn you go to McDonald's and they tell you that the ice cream machine is broken, they are lying because one time I went and I asked for an ice cream cone but they were like, ooh, sorry, our machine is broken. And I didn't think anything of it because it's always broken. But then I literally saw another worker walk up to the ice cream machine with a cone and they filled it up. So what did I do? I pointed this out to the employee that was taking my order and I was like, it looks like your machine is working just fine. And he just turns around, looks at the employee using the machine and he goes, ah, all right, I'll get you a cone. What do you mean, ah, all right? You're acting like you didn't just straight up lie to my face. So to all McDonald's employees out there, why do you guys act like the machine's always broken when it's not? Just give me my ice cream. <laughs> and he treated everybody equally. He was never racist. He wouldn't even say the N-word when nobody was around. <laughs> and he loved fat people. <laughs> and all the girls loved him. He got all the hoes. What are you guys doing? I told you to clean the house, wash the dishes, and instead you're playing Mario Kart. And Jaden, have you even done your homework yet? Shit. I got this cut. Oh, what do you need? Here you go, Mom. 
What's this? The muffin, the broom, and the closet, and my homemates on the table. Tell us when we're done. <laughs> well played. Whoa, this upgrade system has everything. They even have an upgrade section for Morgan. size. Not like I'd need that or anything. Morgan. Size upgraded to 12 inches. Nice. Wait, what's voice appeal? Voice appeal upgraded. What the hell is, is this, this supposed, supposed to- Whoa, I sound sexy as Yada yada. Now bend over. I could tell people to do anything with a voice like this. But how is this supposed to help me raid dungeons? It'll help you to raid my dungeon, step bro. Yeah, system, you could put my voice back to normal now. Why do people who can't wake up to alarms have the most obnoxious ones? Because I almost hit my brother with a frying pan last night. Because he went to bed two hours before me, and this guy cannot wake up to an alarm, no matter what. But he had 20 alarms set for 6 a.m. So when 6 a.m. came around, guess who woke up? Not him! He just sleeps through it the whole time. And you know what the worst part is? This is his ringtone. Why would you choose that one? Every time it goes off, I think we're getting a tsunami warning in the middle of the night. And somehow, he sleeps right through it every time. I'm gonna throw his phone out the window next time. I, matter of fact, I could throw him out the window. He still wouldn't wake up! So, when you say you have a demon inside you, you mean you're like a monster in bed? No, I mean I literally have a demon living inside my body. Oh, does he like, talk to you? Yeah, all the time. I honestly can't get him to stop. What is he saying right now? This bitch is ugly. You could do better. He, uh, he says he thinks you're a nice girl. She's a slut. And he, uh, really likes you. Oh, well, he seems pretty nice for a demon. It must be like having a little friend in your head. I'll kill you in your sleep. Uh, more like a little Hitler. Well, I'm not usually this forward, but do you maybe want to get out of here and go back to my place? I knew it. She's a slut. Shut it, Sukuna, don't ruin this for me! What was that? Nothing!